Right, good morning you beauts. It is a rather wet one today, as you can see. But, you know, let's get out for an hour, find some treats, see what we can get. I'm gonna do a lock dip today. I've got the 550, I don't think I've tried it in this lock before. I've tried every other magnet, so let's see what the uh, 550 can do. Let's do it. Traveling light today, we've got the uh, treat bucket, we've got the rubbish bucket, we've got a scraper, gloves, hammer, bit of metal, water, 550, grappling hook, and a couple of uh, tie backs as well, and some baby wipes. So, yeah, we're out traveling lights, absolutely lashing it down. Um, but there's hardly any people around, and it is half six in the morning. So, let's have a walk along here, because I want to show you something. Not the dog mess on the floor. Not sure if this has just been an overflow or if people have been doing a bit of glory hunting. There's a little car there actually, might take that. Yeah, I don't know, someone might be near you. It's a quite a popular spot. So uh, I've never tried the 550 in here. I've tried every other magnet. So it'd be rude not to uh, let the 550 have a go. So same again. Fill the bucket up or fill the cart and off we pop home. So I do apologise for the noise and if I get spits and spots on the screen. But, jeez. Oh you know, it is raining. What can I say, yeah? So, first cast. Get in the lock. <clears throat> Let's see what we can get today. Like I say, this lock's been done before. I know it has. Might have even been dredged, I don't know, but it might be filled back up with treats. You don't know, do you? I don't know, see, you your magnet in. Absolutely lashing down. Anyway, let's get along the edges, see what we got. See what shrapnel we've got today. Bit of a carling can and a bit of uh, basically scrap. Let's get that in the bucket straight away. I don't really want to throw that away, so... Right, let's get the edges done. In the rain, just the way we like it. Always move up or down, it's not a problem. Just good to get out, not really bothered where I go. Got a feeling this might have been dredged, you know. Although I am obviously getting vibrations at the bottom of the lock. You know, it could have been levered off somebody else, you never know. Each to their own, eh? Magnet fishing is great. Becoming very popular. And obviously, uh, you know, the new people need to get some buckets. 
and some bags and clean up. Another can. So like today, ladies and gents, we'll get rid of all the rubbish. Oh, we got a first two p. Get that in there. Yeah. There does seem to be a lot of rubbish, but it's just more like debris-like. You know, we've had a bit of a flood here. You just don't know, do you? Alright, first bit of metal is a hinge. Just put it there a second. I need to get used to this rain just in case on my 24 hour magnet fishing event it does decide to rain. So that sh should be some epic day and night that. Um, you can keep updated with that, I will be putting some more stuff on my Facebook page, Patriot Magnets. like an allen key and then just a bit of shrapnel out of a handle and put that with the others and that's it We got part of a brake, bottle cap, and a bolt. With an R on it. And then, shrapnel. They're coming down now. Never mind. A day off. I'll get some treats. Well, I've got limited time out these days, ladies and gents. Even if it's just for an hour. It's the only time I can get out mainly. Collecting cans. And a little washer. All the rest of the stuff that I found earlier is just over there on that lock gate. Piece of metal, we don't know what that is, we'll have a look. <sighs> got this lump. And we got this box. Oh wait a minute. Ah. Shouldn't really laugh but look at that, it's got a lot of drawing pins on it.
Oh, random. Make sure we get all of them. We'll go over the area. Okay, so we haven't dropped any because doggies around here. Someone's jordan. Yeah, get rid of that. There's a bin just literally 20 foot away from me. So I don't know why people just don't put the stuff in there. Nearly had to beat myself out then. I don't know what that is. We'll have a look. Rubbish. Oh, that's like a drill bit or a... I don't know what that is. We'll have a look. Are you nail? That's what you call them. And then rubbish. Like I say, ladies and gents, I'm not right bothered what I find. I mean, the drill bits, I'm happy with that. You know, getting rid of all these cans out this lock, I'm happy with that. Finding a, a bolt or a nail, I'm happy with that. Because I just like magnet fishing. I don't really want to get specific items, but it's good when you can. Uh, we've got a mixture on here. Got some dangerous glass. Right, first chav canister. Red lighter. Bottle cap. Don't know. That's just rubbish now. On my screen. Um don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. Well, the rest is just rubbish. See what's in this little corner for us. Two little treats are hiding here. Waiting to be 550 and you know the dance now ladies and gents get onto magnet store get yourself one of these get yourself any magnet from there you will not be disappointed at all Believe what that is. That's rubbish, that's rubbish. And that's rubbish. That's a decent piece of rebar for uh, electrolysis. We'll keep that. And looks like we have a bit of metal and a two piece. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Another padlock found. Oh, I like that. Look at that. I like that. Look at that. Right in the clay. I like that, baby. And then whatever that is. And that's it. A little washer there. And then rubbish. Is. We know what that is. Good Queen's English penny, that. Uh, it's like a bolt. Mm, that's just rubbish. <laughs> Someone's chair. I don't think someone wanted that. Oh, look at that razor blade. Get that straight in the bin. And the rubbish. Yeah, get that off. Don't know what that is. That must have a tiny bit of metal in that plastic bit. Don't know what that is. Piece of metal. And one of my last throws, I had to get a scaff. Part of scaffolding dinner. And a washer. we get on our last throw and I've got a clue and it's just a bit of metal stick rubbish and that's it ladies and gents back home now to get dry get a brew down us and then we'll get this lot cleaned up right everybody we're back after that um absolutely rainy rainy 
a couple of hours that I had out. Um, it's the next day because obviously we're just lashing it down all day so I've cleaned these up. Got everything set out. We do have over there a load of stones and um, little bits of iron slag all together. Some of the stones was magnetic but obviously there's nothing in them. Because I've just had a look. Right, so uh, let's start over here. So this had all the drawing pins in. Yeah, got rid of all them drawing pins. That's the case it come in. This here, all this coiled metal. Obviously, it must have fit in somewhere. And if that were classed as a a spring or something, but it's not really springy. Eh? It's unusual though. So obviously we've been cleaned up you can see it is a little wrapped up. Cool all that, different. I ain't got a clue what this is, so it's probably a, a bottom for something. Um yeah every time I try and clean it up it just breaks. So I ain't got a clue about that. There we go, this is just a, a normal piece of metal hole in it, so it's probably got something goes through it or screwed into something. There we go. This piece here, I think it's part of uh, the lock system, the gate system. I'm not quite sure, I have seen these knocking around and I'm quite sure I saw them last on the locks. A uh, hole that goes all the way through so if there's something like a pole goes through there uh, there might be a nut and a screw to tighten you know to stop it coming out I don't know. So there you go pictures to follow, no markings on there this is part of a racking system I think This looks like it's the top part of a fence. There we go. I haven't got a clue what this is. Uh, I don't think it's got... S no, it ain't got threaded ends. Um, it does have something written in marker pen there. Looks like a letter B. It's got 64 there. I ain't got a clue what that means. But I ain't got a clue what it is neither. Usual bottle caps. Stella Artois. That's a Smirnoff ice. Uh, Copperberg Premium. A bit of cider. Uh, tequila. Hmm. Let's see what's the one. Well, we just just dropped a stellar Artois one. I can't pick that up. It's all the way over there. Two two peas and a penny. Five p. This light was on the side of the lock, so I'll show you it actually does work. Still. And this one still pops the gas. They don't work. Bull brand lighter, and that's just a I don't know, cheppy one. Aloe vera Vaseline. Why not? Eh? I'm not opening that. This is one of my favourite padlock. It says patent written there, and it does have a picture of a fish for the maker's mark. And I'm not quite sure what that says, but if I do find any information, I'll put it up on the screen now.
So hopefully I'm going to get that in electrolysis with the other one. I have got the parts moving here like that. It's quite an unusual padlock, key lock that. But anyway, we'll find out what that baby is. This here. Looks like it's a screw cap for something. And it does have written there, I'm quite sure it says pressure. And it's got BR and then PAI. And then a lot of numbers there. Let's see if I can get a close up of this. But if I can find any information upon that. I will do, I've probably put it up on the screen already. Find out what all that means. So I'll find a close up of that one. Right, I've come across this drill bit. I mean, look how smooth the ends are. They're not even corroded. That's how well you know the workmanship is. I'm not sure if that's for wood, these drill bits. But on this one in particular, it does have markings, it says KMA, and it does have on one of these, I believe, yeah, a number 3 there. So if I find any information about KMA, I'll put it up. And this was just a massive piece of iron slag, so obviously when I've chipped away at it, it's another drill bit. I mean, that's in better days, isn't it? That's how long... It's been in the water, it's been eaten away. So from that to that. Different size washers. This looks like an Allen key fitment. Um, obviously that needs some adjustable wrench on it or something with a screw end and an allen key is one of these so obviously that will fit into turn so yeah no markings on that one and this is just a flat bolt nothing on that one but there is with this one this is quite thick this that's got a letter R on it Should be that colour it looks like, some sort of orange. Flat ended. Cool like that, different. Oh the chaff canister, aren't you? This piece of plastic here does have a metal screw inside, that's why it's come up with a magnet. Part of a, a brake system, the lever off it, brake arm, long nail, it's like a wood nail that, and then this random piece of bar. This here is metallic, but it is burnt down. Oops, there you go. Yeah, strange. Scaffolding clamp or clip. No markings I can see on them like I did the last time. So that's a regular thing what we find all the time everybody. And this is just random pieces of metal. Bit of rebar, I'll probably use that for electrolysis. Yeah, that's just a long piece of pipe. That is a it's like a handle of something. And then this spike thing. There we go, and look who's woke up. Ch -ch -ch. Colin! Ch -ch -ch. See you now yeah? No. Not playing today. There we go, that's all the rubbish over there. So there you go ladies and gents, 
thanks for uh, spending time watching this and uh, we will be getting out and about shortly with a few people we have got an event coming up down Birmingham which we're going to attend so I don't know which way these videos are going to be putting up so hopefully we'll see you on our next little treats somewhere we don't know where we're going to be but it's going to be fun because you're going to come with us see you soon So full of self-confidence And everything you said made a lot of sense I thought I was too cold to ever love again But every single word cut through the rain We see the distance grow Safety zone. You're 
solid like a granite stone. It came.